Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are off to Welshpool to a pedigree clean sale, but we are not selling as I've been kindly asked to actually judge the sale. What I'll be doing is judging the ewe lambs, the shearling ewes and the rams. So super excited because I've never done it before. So we'll see how we get on. It's going to be something a little bit different. Fingers crossed for that. But I hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. Today was actually a first for me as I've never had the opportunity to judge before, but what a place to start. Welshpool Livestock Centre for the annual Pedigree Clean Sale. So I'll be brutally honest, I was pretty busy judging and I didn't get too much chance to film a great deal, but I did get a few snippets. There was an excellent showing of females and started off by judging the shearling ewes. Checking three characteristics, mobility and teeth, then really my preference, which I was looking for five that matched and caught my eye. What really stood out for me was a pen of more traditional type things, which were like five peas in a pod, which you can now see being sold. Then we moved on to the ewe lambs, which I'd say were my favourite to judge, as this is what we sell most ourselves, and boy, the quality was good. Picking between the top four pens was a real challenge, but I went for a group of nice, tight skinned tuppen lambs, followed by two more excellent pens. Finally was the Rams, which unfortunately I didn't get any film on, but here is what I placed first from DM Bennett, a great stocky tuck with a kind head, feet in all four corners with a touch of class. Well, that is all the judging done. I really enjoyed that. It was such good quality of sheep on show. Loads of ewe lambs, loads of shearlings, loads of tups too, and it's just splitting hairs with some of them. Absolute superb quality. I'd just like to thank everyone involved with asking me to come down and judge you today. Now what we're going to do is have a watch the sale, see how the ones I judge actually do to see if my opinion is the same as everyone else's because that's always interesting. And fingers crossed I didn't upset too many people judging those sheep. But yeah, let's crack on, go to the ring and see how everything sells today. First through the sale ring is the shearling ewes. So these are sold traditionally in pens of five or 10, but some people choose to sell them in different numbers such as sevens and eights. But first of all, we have the second prize pen of views, and then we'll follow that with the third, as you've already seen the first prize pen sold earlier. 17. Then they head out the ring and back to their pens. Now up we have the ewe lambs. Not a bad price at all that. £150 a head. Right, so we're now onto the tops. All the ewes are all done. We may be looking at something, but who knows? We'll keep that secret. <laughs> but um, it seems to be selling a bit better than the ewes, to be fair. Just seeing about three or four makes 700 guineas, and then Glover M wants making three, four hundred pounds, so all good. 
a jangling that was definitely squeaky bum time and the most expensive tub we've ever bought it was slightly above budget but not too much and it was planned but we've just been keeping it secret because you never know i don't want to tell everyone we we're going to go out buying if we weren't but really really happy that is such a smart joan Jones, that was such a smart tub from Dylan Jones. I'm just really, really happy to have that quality on our farm, and he should go really well on the group of ewes that we picked out from at the farm. So, what we'll do, we'll pull up, we'll get all loaded up. I know they want to get some photos because the sale has just finished. We watched the last couple, but yeah, we'll pull around and I'll chat to you after his loads up and all that. <laughs> Right guys, so we have skipped forward a couple of days and I am super, super happy with how the day went at Welshpool. First of all, the judging, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone for making me feel so welcome. I really, really enjoyed it. First time I've ever done that. Um, absolute cracking quality of sheep on show. I've already said it, but really, really impressed. And finally, we went and bought a new tub from Dylan Jones. So he sent us back 3,150 pounds because it's 3,000 guineas. There's an extra five pence for every pound that you buy them. But he should be something a little different, something a bit extra that we could put into the flock and just take us to that next level. So fingers crossed going into the future, the next couple of years, when his offspring come through, it should be special. But yeah, guys, Tupping time is now well underway. We're a week into tupping. He obviously went in a couple of days later. We're just down here with Ignite My Fire. Uh, we'll do a proper update on tupping and how it is going. But one thing I can say, they're definitely getting into the groove. And we might have a very, very busy start of lambing. So, massive thank you for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. And once again, I'll see you next time.